everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage, and today we're doing probably, arguably, one of the rarest videos of any car we've ever had. We've had thousands and thousands of cars come through here. We've never seen one like this. I've never seen one advertised like this. This is to be believed to be one of one. And you say, Tone, how is that possible? How's that possible? You make up these crazy numbers, right? These crazy things like one of one, right? One of none, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, my point is this. Matching numbers, color combinations, options, L89, find another, find another. This is it. If you want uh, a, a, a hen's tooth, right? The rarest of the rare, this is it, man. And you want the power? This car, when I say fast, I don't know how uh, these tires don't scream just sitting there doing nothing is the kind of power delivery that comes out of here. It is some kind of special, let me tell you. Anyway, what we do have is a very, very original car documented with pieces that you can't get anywhere else, like the tank sticker and things like that. We've gone through, we've searched a lot of the numbers, photos of the, all those parts, things like that. This, my friend, is a cool, original car that is a collector's item. You say, Tone, come on, you said the one of one, and now you said this other stuff, and I feel like sometimes you, like, you have zero knowledge of what you're talking about, and you're probably right. However, I did the research, and I do know this, that this right here, is a cool piece. All right, so when we're talking about uh, collector cars, we have to talk a little bit about authenticity, right? Color changes need to be brought up, incorrect tires, wrong brakes, wrong carburetors. We don't have any of that here. We have an original Rally Red car. It's coded for it's on the tank sticker. It's on the tag uh, inside the car as well. Original tires like this that are replicas of the original ones. You don't want to drive around on, you know, 60 year old tires. These right here are the bias ply wide ovals um, and they are beautifully detailed on the correct rims and just on and on. So many, I don't know, I get so excited. When's the last time you've ever seen one, right? This is why it's, listen, there's so many great cars come through here, so many. And uh, if I'm rambling, it's only because I don't know what to say because I'm so excited. Anyway, let's talk the paint quality because that's always something we try to do well, right? You want to be able to see that here, okay? Uh, it's claimed that a lot of this paint is original. Don't know that for fact because we can meter paint but we can't meter fiberglass cars we can only meter, meter steel and aluminum cars uh, so I don't want to say for sure that that is but I want to tell you that it's in really uh, amazing condition it's beautiful under these lights it's show quality if you want to drive outside and go to a show uh, people would just go crazy over it it's cool all right so let's take a peek under here because while this is a cool car most of what makes it cool is right here this is a giant hunk of engine. I just want you to ponder that. Forget all the horsepower carlets and all that. You need to just look at this engine. Because we have an original car, right? We have uh, some cool things that first off, you can't even buy anymore. These valve covers, okay? You can see the little dings that are in them. And you say, well, Tone, is that good? Is that bad, right? Well, actually that's really good because that's a factory um, valve cover with the oil drippers that are tack welded inside of there. You actually want it to look like that. The carburetors under here, the way they're supposed to be, the intake manifold, the numbers here, the numbers on the exhaust manifolds, the ignition shielding and braided so that you don't get the sound through your radiator. People a lot of times say, well, this must be for a performance thing. No, it was designed, believe it or not, to keep the wine out of the radiator, right? You got these high performance cars with high performance ignitions. We have multiple uh, pulley grooves on here because you have a lot of power that could throw belts all off. Uh, correct pieces inside, uh, um, like wiring and 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 all of the stuff that goes on. Again, I, I know sometimes I get lost thinking about, my God, if I had to restore this car all over again, like what would I do? And it would be like, wow, this would take a really long time. The simple fact is this could be in your collection next weekend. Any of the photos that you needed of the of the matching numbers and the correct parts in here, we've posted online. If you need something specifically, call us and ask us for that. We're happy to show you that as well. All right, so we're talking about the styling of a Corvette, right, as we're walking around looking at some of the things in here. For instance, here's a cool thing. No one, no one doesn't know what this is, right? If you were to take this emblem off here, 
riding behind this car. There's no mistaking this for a Vega or a Ford Mustang or a Buick, right? You know right away that this is a Corvette. One of the things I do love about Corvettes and the way they're built, first off, this is the first year for this car, so it's very significant, right? First year car and last year cars tend to have uh, uh, the most value. In the case of these here, they're also full frame cars, so they can handle the power. However, a full frame car, would sit on top of it. That's why Chevelles and GTOs and things like that sit up so high. Mopars and Mustangs tend to sit a little lower because the frames are inside the body. In this case here, what they did was they took the rear end, instead of bolting it underneath the frame, they moved it inside the frame and made it independent rear suspension. So you got great handling, you got a lower ride height, you got four wheel disc brakes, you got all that great stuff that make these cars. Listen, man, this car is fast and I'm serious, it's fast. And you gotta be able to stop. So throwing in the brakes and having some handling is very nice. And la lastly, you could actually go somewhere in this car. What? Tell me why, why, what, what, that, what does that mean? Well, what it means is behind here is a great place for soft luggage. You go for the weekend, you could go out to dinner, you could do all kinds, go to a winery in this cool car. It's meant to be driven. Not only is it a classic cool car and maybe the only one left of its kind, but it's also a beautiful car. Every time you walk up to this car, you're gonna smile like this, right? I'm thinking to myself, this is such a great car. And the simple fact is, uh, when you drive one, man, it's almost like you sit all the way back here and you got this long front end of car to, to what, was, what was it like when these people were racing these things with all this power? Amazing. Anyway, I don't really care about all that. I just care about getting in the car and enjoying the insides of my uh, collector Corvette. So. What's that mean? What's it mean to have a collector Corvette? Well, if it was just a Corvette, it'd be a great car, right? The simple fact is they all came with so many great things, like full array of gauges here, 7,000 RPM TAC, 160 mile an hour speedometer. However, these cars here, uh, they got a, a heavier duty transmission. They got a different red line on the tachometer. Uh, but at the rest of it is super comfortable. Imagine uh, going, we talked about it earlier, going for a ride and just going someplace. Like this car can just drive down the road if you want to. However, if you decide to get into it, uh, I suggest you be pointed straight because it does like to go. The convertible top is really nice. You get jammed in some bad weather, whatever. Top goes up quick. It's hidden behind here, so it makes it look really nice. The bucket seats are comfortable. There's plenty of room. And for uh, men that are bigger than uh, then maybe this car would make you so comfortable. There's a couple options. One, you can get a smaller steering wheel or we can get tilt wheel put in here as well. You just keep the stock column that would go with the car. If you ever decide to sell it, keeping the value all in place. Lastly, what a great looking interior, right? Because we've had so many cars, you start to learn over time what makes for a nicer car than other cars. And like, for instance, when you're buying a Corvette, some things that uh, you should check on. One, people say the gas cap, make sure it's centered, it wasn't hit from behind. Uh, what is the fit and finish like of the gaps here, which is amazing on this car. The other thing too, is this is a glass car. And so uh, it's not a steel car where you replace the fenders. These are all one pieces. So if they were in an accident, what you would see a lot of time is there would be a lot of mud inside here, filler trying to fix all this in here. These are nice and clean and nice the way they're supposed to be. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out too is, is while this is a classic car, it is still a beautiful classic car that functions and works well. Listen, like listen to that door. Like it doesn't rattle two or three times when you close it. It closes properly. This is just a nice low mileage collected car that has all the right parts, no mud inside there as well. Uh, it's beautiful and great colors. So we run down the list of some of the stuff that's on here, man. We're thinking about, I don't know, man, so many cool things on here. Uh, don't forget too, we got a we got a, a, an optional hard top uh, that we'll show you here in just a second as well. Um, we got the correct colors for the paint, the interior. We have documentation. We have ownership history back for years and years and years. We have uh, a folder of repairs and restoration or whatever work was done along the way. This is a documented car, man. This is not a, a wonder if it is car. And that's exactly the kind of car you want to get for your collection because these are the blue chip cars that have been watching go up in value over the years. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We tell all about this uh, amazing Corvette uh, 427, 435, four-speed Roadster. All right, how you do it. If you don't mind, hit the like button down below. Helps get the message out. Share with your friends. They might like it as well. The share button's right over there too. And uh, subscribe to the channel. We got new stuff coming out all the time. We're getting ready to get it on the road so you can hear and see what it sounds like.
And while it's a great looking car, I'm not really sure we care anything about that. What we care about is the sound, right? At the end of the day, it's about under the hood, what's this doing back here and how do I connect that with that and get on down the road? So let's do that.